Yo, so I'm just gonna talk to you about speaking in tongues. Before she closes that door, um, yeah, I'm supposed to speak to you about speaking in tongues. Um, you know, if you see my Twitter tag, it's all about pray like you're mad. And the reason why I'm saying pray like you're mad is because, like a mad person, you need to be. You want to desire prayer that much, like it makes you crazy. You know, um, you pray so much that you look crazy. You pray on every little thing that people are continuing to be mad. But the thing is. That person who prays about every single thing, God speaks in the most diverse and audible ways. So this video, like I said, is all about speaking in tongues. And I'll take when I when I first came to Christ and I was praying, I used to pray in my living room, and I'd pray for about ten minutes, max, probably five, before I'm like, man, I don't know what to say anymore. Like I'm done. Like I, I don't. Wanna, I remember reading the scripture. Don't. You know, not vain babbling and re repeating certain words. So I was like, I was like, oh, okay, Father, thank you. Da, da, da. Boom, I'm done. And I remember I used to have some friends who said, you'll pray for about an hour or two. And I used to think to myself, what? How do you pray for that long? Because I can only pray for five, ten minutes max. You know, and I was like, how long do I pray for that? You know, and I would have a list of things to pray for. And I'd come with my list of things to pray for and still I can only pray for five, ten minutes in a sense and obviously my parents are Pentecostal so they, they've been speaking in tongues for time but let me just let this know that just because they spoke in tongues I never picked it up because they spoke in tongues um, I know a lot of people think like oh if you know because you see people doing it you pick it up and that's not the case let me tell you something it's a gift of the Holy Spirit it's an enabling of the Holy Spirit and whenever you see the Holy Spirit take control of an individual the first thing that changes is their mouth so when you look at Acts, when the Holy Spirit came upon them, what's the first thing they did? They began to prophesy and they spoke in different tongues. And I emphasize the word different tongues because the actual scripture says they spoke, divert, uh, spoke other tongues. So in 1 Corinthians 13 and 14, it says that we speak unknown tongues. But then in Acts 2, it says they spoke in other tongues. So there's obviously a diversification there. And the other tongues, other people could understand what they were saying. So hold on. There must be different types of tongues. And the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 12 that he says he's given us a diver, he's given us diverse tongues and one to also interpret. So when you read 1 Corinthians 13 and 14, it talks like Paul tells you, he says, you know, um, I speak the, the tongues of men and angels. So, and he later on says obviously that we that when you're speaking in these unknown tongues, it uh, edifies yourself and speaking unto God and you speak mysteries. I just want to give you the backdrop. So as I was praying in my room, I'm trying to pray, you know, when I first came to Christ, I'm praying, praying, I'm trying to, you know, get into a mode where I can pray for longer, and it's not happening. So I said to one day, I said to God, listen, I never, because I'm a person that doesn't like to ask too many questions of older people, I want to find out myself. If I'm come to God, I don't want no one, I don't want it to be like, oh, this person pulled me, and this person did this, this person, and I wanted to make sure that, God, when you're calling me, you've called me. So I'm going to ask you, you get me? So I came to God, and I said, listen, God, I need to pray longer. I need to pray longer while I'm one. What's happening? Lord, show me, direct me, tell me. How do I do it? So, obviously now, um, a few, I think it was a few weeks later, um, you know, I was at church and a pastor came and he said, today is speaking in tongues day. I'm like, what? Listen, I've not spoken to the pastor. I haven't spoken to my parents about this. I haven't spoken to nobody. When I go into my secret room, I'm in my secret room alone. So, I spoke to nobody about it. How the heck did he know? Boom. So my man, you know, uh, pastor comes, I say my man, pastor comes and he says, today you're going to speak in tongues. Who wants to speak in tongues? I said, boom, I want to speak in tongues. Yep. Because he expounded on basically what tongues will help us do, will help us pray, etc. So I was like, I want it, I want it. So he came to me now and, you know, he's, you know, trying, he's, people are all over the place because it's a big hall. Everyone's all over the place. And he comes, he touched my belly and said, listen, living waters is there. I want you to speak a word. I'm looking at my mama like, bruh, bruh, there's nothing coming from here. And, you know, I was fighting him in my head for about 10, 15 minutes. There is nothing coming. I don't want to force a word out either. I don't want no fakeness. He's praying over my stomach. He's saying, listen, there's a word coming. There's a word coming. When a word comes to your mind, just say it. Don't disbelieve. Believe. Key point. When you want to speak in tongues, it's belief. Because what you're about to say is Google Gaga. But Google Gaga needs belief to make it real. And it's simply that. If you're going to speak a language which is not of earth, 
You're going to need faith to do it. You're going to need faith to do it. And it's as simple as that. So he said, listen, believe what you're going to say. So the first thing that came to my mouth is Baba. So I'm saying Baba and I'm like, mm, are you sure? Baba. So I just, he was like, listen, hold that word. Take it. My brother at the same time, he's also there as well. He was impacted. My sister there at the time, she was impacted. So you can understand, like, all three of us faking it at the same time. No, why? Because what's the point? What would the, what would the point? If I ain't feeling it, I ain't feeling it. You know what I'm saying? So I said, Baba, 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 <laughs> Baba. I'm just going to say Baba. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, oh, okay, God, if this is really true, you've got to give me some other words. And I can't remember what my second word is. I always remember what the first word is, but I can't remember what the second word was. I, I, you know, so I was like Baba La, or something like Baba Ta, or something like that. I just said something like that. the second word just came out, Baba Ta. And after the, because after the service, he, he went and everything like that. And I went back home. But this is what I did. I said, God, I got Baba Ta, but I'm not happy. I went into my garage. And I remember this clearly. I went into my garage. And I said, Lord, you're going to give me words. Today, you are going to give me words. Because I refuse to have Baba Ta as my, as my speaking language. Develop words now. Develop words now. So I went into my garage. I said, Baba Ta, Baba Ta, Baba Ta, Baba Ta, Baba Ta. Before I knew it, Baba Ta, Kariando, Sata, Iliando, Baba. And I checked it because I know the, the I actually know the tongues of my father and my mum. I, I remember their tongues. So I said, if I speak the same tongues, something probably creepy there. Probably need to go check it. Maybe I'm not speaking by the Holy Spirit. But when I checked it against theirs, I was like, no, no, I speak a different one. Baba Ta, Kiliando, Sata. But my words kept going, coming back to Baba. So Baba Kaliando Sata, Baba Kaliando Robo Sata. It was so primitive. And I was like, I was smiling, I'm crying. And then I was like, God, is this is real. Baba Ta Kaliando Sata, Maya, Ilelia, Baba Kabulianda Sata. And I was like, what is going on? What is this coming from my mouth? What is happening to me? You know? And I just had to believe. I had to hold on to the belief. Do you know what I'm saying? I had to hold on to the belief. Because if you don't have the belief, you'll lose it. Yeah, you'll lose it. You'll lose it. When I say lose it, it won't depart from you completely, but you will not believe that what you're saying is true. So you won't use it. And that's what happens to a lot of people. Believe that you're speaking this good girl that is real. I'm telling you, Holy Spirit be down. Do you know what I'm saying? But other people, it's coming different ways. Some people, they could be in a room and it comes upon them. Some people, a pastor, president, it comes upon them. Some of them, they could be doing something and this Holy Spirit will come to touch them. It happens in a manner of different ways. But the key thing for you is believe. Believe this is a prayer language. That's why it's called unknown language, not other tongues. Unknown tongues, unknown, which you speak to edify yourself. Now, I may not understand the tongues I'm saying, but when I pray and speak in tongues, I remember asking my mom the same prayer. I said, Mom, when you speak in tongues, do you understand what you're saying? She said, no. So okay, so how do you know what you're saying? She said, don't, you just, your mind, you speak. You, your mind, you're thinking about something as you pray. And that's the thing that I think. When I pray now, I pray my prayer in tongues. I'm thinking about it. I say, I, I, I speak a word first. I say, Lord, I'm praying on this subject. And I'm praying for this person. Father, begin to change this person. Then I go into, Because that one, I'm speaking the mysteries. I'm not letting the Holy Spirit, I'm not letting the Spirit within me, the Spirit not within me, speak. I've done my speaking to knowledge, which is going to edify my mind. But now I'm bringing in tongues. And what I've realized is this, when you're speaking in tongues, let me tell you something, there's things that you pray for, you didn't know you are praying for. There's things that you're praying for, you didn't know you are praying for. Because the spirit man intercedeth. Now some will say, oh, but the spirit man, he doesn't work in mornings and groanings. But you don't know what you're saying in those tongues. You don't know what you're saying. So you could be moaning or groaning in those tongues. You don't know. No one of us knows. It's the point. Because you don't have, it, you don't have interpretation of your tongues. So I want you guys to understand that if you want to pray longer, you want to spend, spend more time in God's presence. Desire the gift of tongues. Really believe and desire and chase after tongues. Not because it's a special, not because it's so special, but because of the fact it helps your prayer life. And your prayer life is key to your Christian walk. Without prayer, your car ain't going nowhere. Yeah? Without prayer, you can't you put your foot in acceleration, your car ain't moving. There is no spark, there is no petrol to your car. So you need that prayer tongue, you need that prayer language to help you and to enable you to pray for longer periods of time so what i'm saying to you is just believe pray to god and say god i want tongues so that i can speak unknown so i can speak to you for longer periods of time so i can spend time in your presence 
You see what I'm saying? Because I'm carnally minded, but I'm spiritual. So how does that make sense? If I, see what I'm saying? We're, we're carnal, but we're spiritual. We've been reborn. So the language you're going to speak, it may sound like Guru Gaga, but it's spiritual. So I'm encouraging you guys. That is the edification for your own personal room and you're in the secret room. That's not saying anybody doesn't pray in tongues isn't as good. No, no, no. I'm expanding to you to pray longer. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12 hours of prayer you could be doing at a go. You couldn't do that if you had your own words because you'll be repeating yourself. There's only so many words you can speak in. We're well, going to switch to French. Well, you'll still be saying the same thing. So it's important. It's important to help you, to aid you to move forward. So I, I just implore you guys, go for tongues, man. Boom.